Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in beautiful Moscow and me overcoming the social aspect of recording in public but I think I'll be fine I want to say thank you to those of you who have uh, made a purchase of my latest book for children that I've announced yesterday during my life and that book is very very special book you have the link down below this video it means a lot to me if you consider checking this out and making the purchase because this is how you support my work as well very much so and it will be the best $9.50 uh, that you ever spent or $3.95 for the ebook that you ever spent I'm quoting you know who Lindsay Graham we will get to Lindsay Graham in a second but just to remind you that there are two other books number one and number two so if you want to have the series uh, get those from my website as well and you just click on my website and you find the other two books i will try to take a walk here a little bit further so you can see a little bit streets if you have the noise please do not complain because this is the city life and it's a busy city so let's go through this together um what I would like to tell you today, I have actually four topics. Yes, I have four topics. And some of those will require me to sit down and read it from the notes. But meanwhile, I hear bells from this beautiful church. Oh, it stopped already. So gorgeous day, by the way, before we get into the news. We have some high vibrational sound first. <laughs> I hope you can hear it. So guys, let's get into the news while this beautiful bell is ringing. And what I want to tell you is this. We have two things from Morawiecki. The first one is he just announced Yesterday, on International Children's Day, Morawiecki announced during his visit in Moldova, during the second European Political Community Summit in Moldova, he took part in that meeting of the representatives of the fighter jet coalition so I believe it's something like they had those tank coalition, now they have the jet coalition. And he said that Poland will train Ukrainian pilots on F-16 fighter jets. He just announced it and he restated Warsaw's position that Warsaw cannot provide its own F-16s, I will add yet as they are necessary for Poland's own defense. So you remember when I was telling you a few videos ago, when we are buying those uh, planes, so now we are providing, Poland is providing the training for the Ukrainian pilots, not the trains yet, not, not the planes yet, but the training. And I believe that in the very near future, when the taxpayers are more sucked into this, the planes will be also provided. Okay. This is a busy street, guys, we are approaching, but it's a... Mm -hmm. I know that you want to see just regular streets, so I decided to make this video like this, so you can have a sense of the streets in Moscow. Uh, the second thing, let me check my notes, is alarm levels. So, again, I think I had two or three videos about it. You remember that we had those uh, alarm levels in Poland. One was Bravo and one was Charlie CRP. And I'm not going to go through the description of those alarms. You can look it up or you can check out my videos with that. But those alarm levels in Poland have been extended by Morawiecki. And the 
government center for security informed that Morawiecki Val Pinocchio, my comment, has extended the, valid, the uh, validity of three alert levels in Poland, Bravo and Charlie CRP. They are linked to cyber terrorism and energy infrastructure until the end of August. So there you have it. Until the end of August. I just want to sidetrack for a moment and tell you one more thing about that uh, thing that Duda signed. You remember we were talking about it yesterday? That was to have the commission of nine people that will be investigating any involvement with Russian influence. So I just want to add to this uh, before I get into another topic. And that is, in my opinion, what they have done with that act, with that law, they pretty much committed political suicide. Because it's gonna be, it's not gonna be fun, guys. I found perfect spot to sit down. It's not gonna be fun when we have the election coming and they will do everything. I'm telling you right now, you know it. They will pull all the tricks to stay in power. They are so desperate. Now, what can I tell you? Let me tell you about this. People are passing. I hope they are okay with me reading. Let's talk about Ukrainians who are leaving Poland. And you'll be like, what? Well, I came across this article. Ukrainians are leaving Poland. They usually waited for offers, job offers. Something has changed. So this was a report. And I will read you this. Ukrainians usually waited for a flood of jobs offers at this time of the year. Meanwhile, it turns out that Ukrainian citizens prefer to go abroad and search for work. And here the founder of the employment agency says if the deficits of employees from Ukraine will begin to appear in May, it will continue to consolidate or deepen in the coming months. This might generate higher wage pressure. Now, what places they go to in this article, it says that Ukrainians most likely go to Canada, which is 20%, Germany 16%, and according to the barometer of the Polish label market, to the UK 11%. So, some of them are leaving Poland, and actually I have a feeling that those are the good ones who actually want to put the work in and contribute, unless there are better social um, support in the other countries than Poland can provide them. And now I would like to get into something that many of you probably know, because this was several days ago when Maria Zakharova made a statement in response to uh, reacting to Lindsey Graham, those words that he said during the the meeting he had with you know who with the comedian she now this was uh, those words were spoken and as as we know as most of you know how that clip was put together that's another story but what i really want to focus on today is what she said and how this is connected with Poland, especially Pol Polish history, the history of Poland, because she said that uh, Senator Lindsey Graham has something to compare with as far as the best money ever spent by United States, because one of their, means United States, investments led to World War II and then to the Holocaust. Probably you heard this already, but why I'm saying this now is because she mentioned various companies uh, among them was Henry Ford, General Motors, IBM, Coca-Cola, Standard Oil, JP Morgan Chase, by the way, used to be my bank. Yeah. And they all sponsored or assisted Nazi Germany during World War II. Now, 
Maciej Maciak showed in his video a picture of uh, German trucks. I believe the name it was G987, that kind of uh, truck, who entered Poland with Nazi Germany. And those trucks were produced, as I believe, in Germany by Henry's Ford company. So how we know this? Because she actually said that uh, Hitler's minister, Austrian painter's minister of economics, testified during the Nuremberg trials that Ford and General Motors had a silent economic deal with them. So those American companies had the deal with them. And now imagine this, not only those uh, companies like Ford were producing those cars in Germany, or maybe probably in US as well, but since it was, you know, Second World War is closer, so it was done in Germany. And who they were using for, for those uh, prisoners from Auschwitz-Birkenau, right? From Oświęcim in Poland. Not only, but a lot of those prisoners were, were used in that situation. And just to remind you, six million Polish people died as a consequence of World War II. America, our friend, yeah? And then another company he mentioned, or actually she mentioned here, was Opel. That belonged to the General Motors. And it's very important what she said, because she's so spot on with this. She said that actually Swiss banks were just holding the money. It was a place to secure the money. But if it was not for the involvement of General Motors and Ford and other companies from United States, who knows how that war would look like, guys? So those are very, very serious things and no one is really talking about it. Although uh, I believe there was one media in Poland that has reported on this, what she said, because of course they are not going to <laughs> talk about it on the main TV stations because people would be looking into it. But there you have some facts. And how this make people feel that we kind of have this deja vu moment again. I mean, except now they are spending, investing, investing money in another country, trying to replicate this history, isn't it? I wanted to cross the street and go to that park, but I'm trying to think how to go about it. But I would like to tell you that uh, I believe this is just the beginning of very, very hot summer that will be taking place in Poland and other countries. It's just the beginning. I'm very happy to be here, by the way. Look how beautiful, guys. So you find some links to what I just read you beneath this video in the description box. And I think I will end this video here unless we can check it out what's on this street. Such a beautiful architecture. So yes, uh, I want to see how this election will look like in November, because I believe there will be few people from the opposition party in Poland that might be used as an example. Just as an example, because they are all connected in the same game, as you know, it's all smoking mirrors. So they probably gonna have this commission of those nine untouchable people happening. And as they do, they're gonna use few people as an example. Now be careful. Okay, perfect. So we cross, we go to the park and we're gonna probably witness this and I will be telling you who was not the lucky one. Meanwhile, I'm in Moscow and I'm very grateful to be here. And we see how it goes from, from here, guys. I want to say again, thank you so much for watching and thank you for getting my book. The link is down below the video. I know it's noisy. <laughs> so please check it out. And uh, it's available in 
most of the countries, so it's not just US, Canada and United Kingdom. Actually, you can find it in Australia already, in other European countries. They have no problem getting it. But I think, because I have meeting after this video, I will be recording another one for you tomorrow morning from a different destination. Lots of love, everyone. And I see you in another video. Hit that like if you enjoy in spite of the noise and everything else. Bye, guys.